Today I want to do something a little different. Um, as you can see here, I poured myself with uh, Pasalino, or y'all call it jasmonite, um, uh, yeah, like a tray, and um, I'm painting it uh, black with acrylic colors. And um, I want to put some gold leaf on it. And, and how I did that, I will show you in this video. I checked out my stencils and I got this one and uh, now I'm taking um, gilding glue and dabbing it onto the stencil um, with this little sponge thing and I'm taking uh, it really slowly I sped this video up um, because if you have um, too much uh, liquid on this um, on the sponge thing um, the gilding glue will run uh, underneath the stencil and uh, the design will like kind of mix up and doesn't look like it anymore. Um, yeah, As, like I said, I sped this up and I took my time doing so. Here happened what shouldn't have happened. Uh, my stencil uh, slipped away, and um, yeah, I had a hard time really uh, putting it in the same place as I used to have it. And uh, yeah, it's not really easy to do. And yeah, but I think it went good already. So here you can see this is my design, and um, you also can see that uh, it's not as fine as if you would paint it with a brush. Because I'm a little bit impatient person, um, I took my uh, hair dryer and uh, blow dried my gilding glue dry um, because I didn't want to wait two hours uh, for it to dry itself. So if all the white is gone, then the gilding glue is ready to use. So what I did now, I didn't take um, like a gold leaf, I have foil like this and um, I tried it out before in other videos, uh, I will link up uh, in the space below, um, no on top, <laughs> in the corner um, where I use this. But you can uh, also use like um, really uh, gold leaf and stuff like that, uh, it works just beautifully. And as you can see, I'm taking my time rubbing it uh, onto the glue pieces. And when I lift it up, you can see the design underneath it.
So this is what it looks like now. And for my taste, it was uh, a kind of naked and I wanted to put a little something something on there too. So I have those pearl pens and I'm making a design on top of this. And I will just let it run um, and I'll see you uh, when I'm ready to glaze the thing. This piece took three uh, to four days to really dry thoroughly and um, now I'm putting liquid latex on the back because uh, if I pour my resin on there and uh, something runs down I won't have no dripping sticking underneath my piece. <laughs> so what I'm doing now I'm putting resin on the middle first and I'm spreading it thoroughly uh, really um, on really uh, on the edges and um, when I'm finished with that the other the, the rest of the resin will be already thick and uh, the possibility of it running down getting smaller by that.
So the rest of my resin has thicken up already and um, now I'm pouring it uh, onto the rest of this uh, piece. And um, with thicker resin, it, the possibility of it's, uh, it running down the sides uh, is not uh, so big as if it's uh, still really, really liquidy. So when it's like water, you have a hard time having it uh, or keeping it on the uh, piece that you just doming. So um, those dots that I put on there, they're much higher than um, the resin uh, that I put on there, so they will be sticking out. But I liked it that, that much that I didn't really uh, make another top coat because I wanted uh, some visible structure uh, on top of this piece when I'm putting it on the wall so you can see that there are little uh, dots on there. I liked it that way. The resin has cured now and as you can see uh, there are slightly raised parts uh, on the front and I liked it. So what's left to do is taking the latex off and uh, as you can see this works beautifully. Uh, there is no um, sanding or something involved, uh, you just have to take it off and when there are drippings on top of it they just come right off with it. And this is how the finished piece looks now. It's really beautiful in my eyes. If you like my video, please leave a thumbs up, uh, a subscription or share my video. I liked it very much and I would really appreciate it because it brings my little uh, channel forward um, to more viewers uh, if I'm lucky. And uh, thank you for that and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.